Hey, Mortgage Coach community, Dave Savage here, and for today's Skype guest, I have Mr. Bill Hart. What's up, Coach Bill Hart? Just hanging out, doing my thing, but it's a pleasure to be talking to you and the Mortgage Coach community, Dave. Thanks for the opportunity. Well, it's good to have you. You know, Bill, you and I do so much together. We're always helping clients. Uh, you do so much for the Mortgage Coach community, and I just think it's a great time for you and I to do a bit of a Skype rant together. Uh, now, I've been doing these interviews where I interview top producers that are just killing it in this market. They had huge years. But heck, I, I talked to a lot of those folks that are, haven't had huge years yet last year. And they're saying, it's not the same. You know, between low inventory, you know, refis are gone. So everybody's chasing purchases. Every realtor in America is getting called by every lender in America. It, it's just different. And what inspired me to call out and bring you on this call was that rant you did last week. I mean, that, by the way, that was awesome. You know, we should just like stand up, just like let's Thanks, just go at it. But uh, it was fun. Yeah, no, it was it was great. It was obviously from the heart. It was obviously yeah. timely. So I thought you and I should just jump on a call together and give some leadership to the mortgage coach nation. You know, cool. they they all have graphs and charts on their mobile device, so they should be able yeah. to have the rent versus own conversation totally. with agents, bring more buyers in the market. They should be able to have the, the move up analysis. So like, nice. you know, every single time a listing yep. agent's out on a listing, let's, let's get them more excited about moving up. Yeah, man. Let's, let's help agents get more move ups into the market. So let's, let's rant together. You know, um, maybe everybody already saw that, but why don't you just, for anybody that missed it, give them some cliff notes on that rant last week. Yeah. And, yeah, then, yeah. and let's let's give them some ideas to kill it in today's market. For sure. Fired up to do it. Because I here's what I genuinely believe in. You know, I first heard this from Steve Harney years ago when he first said, We have a responsibility. Like right. we can affect the market and we have to own that. And I think for a lot of people that sounds a little esoteric and like, really, what am I gonna do? And I I just think it's multiplication, right? So the the very fact that you and I are talking right now, people are watching this, they're going to have conversations. My, my video, I just told you that the one that I did last week had 3,600 views, which for me is ridiculous. I've never, I've never come close to that. I probably had maybe 1,500 at, at, the, at the most prior to that. And that's just me tracking the Facebook views. Then there's the, the YouTube views because I shared it on my blog as well. For those of you that haven't seen it before, and, and 46 shares, the shares to me wow. was enormous because that means people believe enough in the content that they want to push it out right so i kind of feel like we're on a mission here so, so wait time out time, time yep. out that video was shared how many times 46 and and think about that every person that shared it was a leader right they probably have other loan officers that they wanted to share that with so they were probably branch managers heads right. of production i mean by the way kudos bro Thanks, that, buddy. That, Appreciate that. That is huge impact. And then, by the way, everybody who's listening to this, you're listening to it in YouTube. One, I just decided that we're also going to push this into Facebook. Sweet. And make sure you go back and listen to that rack because we're not going to cover yep. everything Bill did. And share yep. both of them. Share this and sure. share that. So, okay. So keep it rocking, Bill. So what I did was, so it's called I Have a Responsibility. So if you just Google Bill Hart, Coach Bill Hart, I Have a Responsibility, or go to Coach Bill Hart, my website, you'll find it there. <clears throat> and you can also just find it here on YouTube. But, and actually it's on the mortgage community, mortgage coach community, right? Didn't you? I shared it. Okay. I so it's, it. it's all over the place. You'll, you'll find it, but here's the basic message. My message was, I have a son-in-law who's a physician. His name is Mark Judd. Mark for years, he used to wear a lapel pin on his white lab coat and it would say antibiotics with an international nose symbol through it, right? Cause everybody comes to him and says, I'm sick, I want antibiotics. And if you know the drill on that, it's like bad plan. Don't just keep taking antibiotics because you're ultimately gonna build up enough resistance to these bugs that they don't work. That's number one. Number two is he teaches us to wash our hands, is to wash our hands a lot. And I like never get sick because I wash my hands all the time to the point where I have to moisturize my knuckles, right? So if we took that same analogy- By, by the way, that's to, called OCD. I'm maybe. maybe, maybe. <laughs> But I'm not getting sick, right? right Maybe right. I'm mentally ill, all right, all right. I'm not sneezing. I'm just having fun here. I know you are, but anyway. So if we take that now as mortgage professionals and say, okay, so what do I have a responsibility about? And you and I could agree on a lot of things that we have a responsibility about as mortgage professionals. 
But where I kind of took off on this was like the misunderstandings that people have, right? I'm pulling up a, a slide here to just take a look at it. You know, the misunderstandings about equity, right? So, so CoreLogic did this research and Fannie Mae and, and, and CoreLogic, and it said, um, what percentage of people in this, this large random survey feel like they have negative equity? And 23% of this random population said, you know, quarter of the population said, I have negative equity. The reality is eight, eight percent. So people are sitting on more equity than they realize, right? So that's opportunity number one. Number Opportunity number two is significant equity greater than 20 percent, 37 percent. So only a third of people surveyed thought they had that much equity. The reality was 79 percent. So if we just look at that and say, wow, there's this pent up seller demand from people who have been beat up. We, you know, for years and years, 30 years, we stayed in our home six years. Then it went to nine years. We peaked at 10 and we're back at nine. Here's the point. There's the reason that there's a listing crisis, right? That there's no inventory is because people don't know this, Dave. They don't know this and they're not going to know it. They're not going to find this out from the evening news. The administration isn't going to tell them this. It's us telling them, right? We've got to tell them this stuff. So it's our responsibility. And that's my point. And so the, ultimately what I said in the video is have this conversation. For God's sakes, put on home seller events. Please somebody put on home seller events. Like I finally saw, started to see once I got some, some traction with this video, people saying, dude, I'm in if you're in and it's a lender talking to a realtor and it's like, let's do it. So, so if you're watching this right now, I want to encourage you take it to the streets. I had Michael McDonald singing in the background on that video, right? <laughs> Taking it to the streets because we have to. Yeah. So anyway, that was the video. That was well, the basic message. Well, first of all, it's a great message. And for everybody that's on this call, you are a mortgage coach and yeah. you have the ability to, the way you have that conversation with the family is so compelling, you know, and, and what Danny Harani is doing, uh, by the way, of the, I don't know, 12-ish Skype interviews like this I did, I did yep. one with Danny Harani, one of the nation's top loan officers. Absolutely. And, and what he's doing is he's meeting with his realtors. He's having the move up conversation. And then he's going, hey, agent, who are the five to 10 buyers out of all the families that you've served that you think are most likely to buy right now or most likely to want to move up? Yeah. Tell me what you think their house is worth. And yeah. let's create one of these move up analysis together. And let's For go sure. bring that message to the family. Let's, let's sure. let them know that, hey, you've got equity. You could sell that home. You could put some of that money in the bank. You could use some of it to buy a home. What do you believe is happening with appreciation Absolutely. rates? Most of them go, oh, appreciation rates are going up. Yeah. What do you think is happening with interest rates? Oh, uh, they're probably going up. Well, right. should you move up now? Is now the time to do it? And, and so, by the way, everybody on this call, move up analysis and listen to that totally. interview with Danny. And I, by the way, I've done this interview with so many people between that and the move and the rent versus own analysis. Yeah. It's like, you need to tell this story to your agents. Absolutely. You, you need to tell this story to their best renter prospects. Yeah. You need to tell this story to their best move up prospects. Yeah. So Bill, any other big ideas, any, anything <laughs> else that you oh, yeah. haven't shared with us yet? Let's, let's share oh, it now. Yeah, hang on a second, because I want to see if I can find the, the thing that I'm looking for here. Eh, I'm not going to find fast enough. Well, wait a minute. I, I can talk for 30 seconds while you find it. No, you're good. You're good. I'm okay. just going to tell you, all I always do is hold up his business card to kind of make it a, a, a visual. Um, but you'll recall Larry Kendall, the author of Ninja Selling. It was my last interview um, for great video interviews, and hopefully you've all had a chance to see it. Highly recommend this book. Here's a little background before I tell you this, this story, which, by the way, will rock your world. So whatever you're doing right now, like put on your seatbelt. I'm not kidding. So here's here's. Yeah, exactly. Strap in. Baby. By the way, you set an expectation there, Bill. It better be. Good. Right. Yeah. Strap in. Come on. I'm okay. talking about right. like, here we go. So Larry Kendall is the founder of The Group in Fort Collins, Colorado. Real Trends has ranked them, I don't remember the number of years, but the number one per person productivity real estate company in the country on multiple years. So most production per person. And he wrote a book called Ninja Selling, and it, it's just all about 
building relationships, doing a lot of volume, going deep, and just just a lot of really, really great content in that book. I highly recommend it. It's fantastic. So I get a, a, a nice email from Larry. Hey, loved that video, but now I'm going to go off camera. So forgive me here because I want to be accurate with this, right? But here's what he sends, sends to me. He said, um, most markets, not all, are in a dual market. That is the the mid to low price ranges are hot, but the upper range is not so much. And I thought I'm thinking about my market here in Southern California, the Conejo Valley. It's like he's right. That's that's absolutely accurate. Uh, he said everybody has a different definition of upper price range. But in most markets we are teaching in at some point, the upper end is slow. Generally true. So if this is like, yep, check mark in my box, I hope your heart rate just went up a little bit because it gets better now. He said, for example, in Fort Collins, Colorado, the price range of 400,000 has an inventory of only a few weeks, bidding wars and multiple offers. But the market above 800,000 has a 21 month supply, 21 month supply. So he said the upper end is a buyer's market. So now you throw in low interest rates and this is the best move up market. He says he's seen in 44 years of real estate, right? It's like, Holy cow, this I makes total sense. Watch what he right? Watch what he does with it. He says most people don't know this. Now, and he said, this is what ties into your slides about people not realizing what equity they have, right? He said, our mission, should we choose to accept it, is to spread the word about these dual markets and the opportunities for those who want to move up to their dream home. We recommend three sets of questions. Three sets of questions. Number one, start with the Ford questions family, occupation, recreation, and dreams, leading to how's the house working out to you? for you, which leads to what are your long-term plans for your house? And is this your forever house? Now think like a realtor for a moment. And some of you are recovering realtors. I get it. Like you've been there, right? Or you've been around real estate agents enough. You could see this conversation taking place. You can coach your agents to have this conversation, folks. This is going to create inventory and it's going to loosen up the market and it's going to build in even some refis. Watch what he does. He says, He says it's almost never their forever house, which leads to the next set of questions. Well, if you could live in your dream dream home, where would that be? They usually mention a neighborhood and a time frame, often just a few years. That's the second question. Number three, with some of the lowest interest rates in our lifetime, have you considered moving your timing up to now? If they're open to considering it, he says, are you familiar with a dual market? You You could sell in a seller's market and buy in a buyer's market right now. Wow. You could sell in a seller's market and you could buy in a buyer's market right now. Dave, we've never seen this. And I've never heard it articulated like this. Now, I'm going to send you all this so you'll have it in writing and you can you can recreate it. I've asked for Larry's wow. permission to share it. He's such an abundant thinker. He's like, dude, we have a responsibility to the industry. Of course. He says, Bill, we've sold a lot of houses and generated a lot of listings this way. Here's a derivation on the theme, if their situation in their house is right, our rental market is booming. This is the third element, think about this. Our rental market is booming, so if they're qualified, we have them refinance their current home, take the equity out and buy their dream home and convert their existing property to a rental. We have them meet with their accountants so that they are clear that they have to live in the house two of the last five years. So it can only be a rental for three years before they will convert their non-taxable owner-occupied gain into a taxable investor gain. We calendar in to call them six months out to list the house before their three years are up. Here's another transaction. In times of hyper appreciation like we have had for the last three years, he said this can be a great strategy if the situation is right. We have been doing this for the last four years, so this isn't just some idea. Like we've been doing this for four years and have a lot of listings right now that have hit their 30-month mark and they need to sell. In our market, having them wait 30 months has earned them an extra $100,000 tax-free and they love us for it. Wow. So first of all, mind mind blown. (laughs) So, So everybody who's watching this, let us know what you think. Is your market like this? So if this um, is in Facebook, give us some comments. Share this with other mortgage professionals. If you're watching this in YouTube, we got comments below. Let, let Bill and I know if you liked it. Give us a please. like and, and share how you're doing it. Um, the only add-on, I would say, let's supersize that with a mortgage coach and make that last question. Would I'm you super. like me to put together a move-up analysis for you so that you can see with clarity what moving up would look 
for it like for you? Sure. In one year, five years, and in 15 years. So totally. literally, this is a great tee up. Teach your loan officers or your, your realtors to go out and have this conversation and then put you to work creating Absolutely. a move up analysis so that families can make confident decisions with graphs and charts on mobile devices. Absolutely. So, so Bill, I mean, we could, I'm sure, go on forever. Uh, thank you so much for making time. Oh, Guys, so pleasure. make sure you get that book. I will try to summarize some of these questions in the comments in our YouTube channel. So if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put a list of the, you know, the top questions, whatever space we have. And we'll also give you a couple samples to mortgage coach move up analysis. Great. And I'm going to put a breadcrumb and a link to Danny Harani's, uh, I don't know, Skype interview that we nice. did on how he is delivering value. So, hey, hey, brother, sure. let's make sure you and I do this more. And then, and then one last thing, you said that you got this out of an interview with Larry and it's part of our bigger interview program. Yes. So remember everybody, Bill is interviewing top agents. We're making those available to you in RateWatch. We're also giving you guys links to it. We will put a link to that down below too, right so that you can check out um, the interview that Bill did with, with Larry. Brother. Dave, I just want to thank you, buddy. So my pleasure. This is exclusively where my interviews now live. And of all the opportunities and options I had to sort of distribute them, Mortgage Coach and really with you, Dave, was the the logical place that made sense to me. So it's so cool to have a home for those. And folks, I want you to know that we've had a little stutter starts with my schedule and, and ramping up the technology, but they will start to be every month. And you'll have interviews with top producing realtors every single month that you can use to stimulate this kind of conversation. Dave, thanks for the opportunity to be able to share them with you and your community. Well, I'm grateful to have you as a friend and the, the whole Mortgage Coach community appreciates it, Bill. So my pleasure. Use this information. Take it to the streets. Let's change this market. Yeah. Quit complaining about it. Do something about it. Absolutely. If you're a manager, share this with your team. And if you have other originators that you care about and you want to see them be successful, share it with your mortgage friends. Take care, everybody. Thank you, Bill. My pleasure, bud.